nataka kuongea mambo ya kitu kinaitwa building your spirit ama kujenga spirit yako spirit kwa Kiswahili ni roho na sijui kama tu sawa itofauti unajua Kiswahili ni kigumu kuna tofauti ya moyo na roho amen moyo ni the heart roho ni moyo amen yes that is the topic na vikiria tumekuja na mahali tunaweza andika building up your spirits that is the topic nataka tu uh, tuandike hii kitu na fikiria tulifundishwa na mwalimu wa CRI that a man is made up of body and what else yes a man is made up of body mind and soul amen na hiyo pande ya soul ndio tunaweza kusema ni pande ya spirits mwanadamu ametengenezwa katika hizo eneo tatu lakini ningetaka niwaambie hiyo pande mnasikia ya mwili na hiyo pande tunasikia ya nafsi soul all those areas they depend on the spirit amen a man is made up of mind body and the soul na ningetaka tuanzie na maandiko iko katika kitabu cha genesis Genesis chapter number 2 verse number 7 The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life What happened after that I don't know whether we are together in this class Let us read together I want to go from the dust of the ground and breath into his nostrils the breath of life and the man wakati Mungu aliumba mwanadamu mwanadamu aliumbwa kwa matope na Mungu akaweka kila kitu ili mwanadamu aweze kuishi Biblia inaonyesha kwamba Mungu alimbulisia hewa kwa mabua and that person became a living being so you cannot be able to become a human being without a spirit na hiyo ndiyo spirit iliwekwa hapo and the man became a living being a living thing so ni vigumu sana uweze kuishi kama hakuna spirit ni spirit Mungu aliweka ndani ya mwanadamu na kile wa kinafanyika hata wakati watoto wanazaliwa Mungu diwanga na release spirit inaingia ndani yule mtoto sasa ikisaingia ndiye anaweza kuitwa mtoto watoto okay physically hiyo ni wazazi wa mtoto wana wana wana, wana create Amen. Do you know utaona mtoto anazaliwa akiwa anafanana na mama yake, anafanana na baba yake. Hiyo ni pande ya mwili. Hizo ni zile vitu ambazo unabatiwa na wazazi wako. Wanakubatia pua inafanana na huyu, macho inafanana na huyu. Lakini spirit sasa hiyo inatoka kwa Mungu. Na ndiyo tunaona Mungu alipatia mwanadamu akawa anaishi. Bwana sifuwe sana. And I wish tuweze kufunguka mioyo yetu usiku leo tukaweze kuelewa hivi. But when now The enemy want to take captive the life of a man. Wakati shetani anataka kushika mateka maisha ya mtu, kile huwa anashika mateka ni spirit yako. Your spirit ndio inakuwa imekamatwa mateka. The life of a man is in two forms. There is a physical part and there is a spiritual part. And the physical part most trend depends on the spiritual part. Amen. Write that. Number two. That life is more spiritual than a physical. Write that number two. That life is more spiritual than a physical. Number three. Things that takes place in the spiritual determines things that will take place in the physical. Unique it is as the same as number one. Hallelujah. Haleluya amen Haleluya amen Haleluya amen Sing haleluya sing haleluya Haleluya amen Haleluya amen Haleluya amen Sing haleluya Why do you think we come in the church Kanisani mostre sijui kama kuna ipanda tumemaliza hapa mkaona kila mtu nikimpatia pesa 
nimesema mapare kwa mrango <laughs> mkienda nyumbani kila mtu anambatia 20,000 20,000 20,000 it has never happened because in the church tunakunjanga kutengenezwa kiro pastor akitutengeneza spiritually now basically we can be able to go and get money basically now we can be able to go and get those cars basically we can be able to go and get other things that we need I want to repeat over the search that I saw. I think it was on 2019, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Walikuwa wanasema, watu wale wanaenda kanisani, uwa wanaishi sana. Why? Why? Let me tell you the reason. Kwa sababu, shinda mingi sana sinasumbua watu. Their spiritual problems. Rakini wakati tunakunja kanisani, kuna uwesekano kwa sababu, mutumishu wa mungu anandiru na spiritual matters, kuna uwesekano wa iyo mambu inetusumbua spiritually, inatengenezwa. Ikitengenezwa, maisha yetu inaingia tumahini. So I am saying this as I said yesterday that you are supposed to take guard of your heart, even your spirit. You should take care of it even more than your heart, your spiritual life, and your spirit. One is was if you as an discouragement is another thing mutu in the spirit. Spirit yako ina onyeshwa awezi. You are not able. How to build your spirit? Number one. How to build your spirits. Arafu siju kama munaerewa spirit. Ni kusema nini roa yako. Unaeza kuinjenga na mnagani. For a man. Tumeona ni spirit aliwekwa na mungu. And he became a living thing. Without that spirit. You cannot live. Ata wakati tunavufuwa mtu. Ni spirit yako tunasemanga irundi. Amen. Na hili mwerewe life is more spiritual than physical. When I was teaching you about the ministry of angels. Different types of angels and their ministries. Tuliona kuna maraika monja na itangwa guardian angel. Kira mwomonja umebatiwa huyo maraika. Aweze kuwa waku kuongoza. Lakini wezi kumuona na macho ya mwiri. Na huyo maraika anavananga na wewe kapisa. That angel anavanana na wewe. Tuliona katika mbibiria wakati ambapo kanisa liliombea pahuro petero na watu walikuwa pale nyumbani ambapo tunaona mustana wakazi walikuwa naitwa ronda alienda kuangalia wakati mungu amefanya huo muujiza na walikuwa wanajua mahali ambapo alikuwa amefungwa sio mahali unaweza toka raisi watu hao walikuwa namuuliza uko na uhakika ni petero umeona ama ni maraika wake because there is that great probability now Vitu sile tunaonanga in the spirit. Are they physical or spiritual? They are spiritual. Iso vitu unaona katika spirit. Na mara mingi sana ni mawambia, kuna ndoto unaeza kuota, iku affect physically. For example, niliwambia kuna mutu wanaotanga akiokota coins. And when unaota unaokota coins, niliwambia yu ni kuwanyasha kuamba kuna spirit ya umasikini inaingia. Na kuna mutu mwingine alikuwa ameitiwa interview mahali. Usiku uo akarara akiyota akivanya usharati. Wakati ya naenda interview, inakuwa rejected. Kuna watu wengine kuna ndoto sinakunja. Na iyo inakuwa ndiyo muanzo wambia shara yake kusambaratika. So as I am talking about maneno ya kujijenga spiritually, it is very good to be very careful with your dreams. Usiyote ndoto mbaya, aravo unamuka usiku unayino. Mimi mutumishu wa mungu ni ndoto mingi sana ni zawa iyota na singine ni negative ni namuka ni nakasana naso ni nasipinga and they don't come to pass kwa sababu ni nairawa this is God ambia na nionyesha vile kulivyo in the spirits now if you are weak in the spirits kama wewe ni mudhaivu katika mambe ya spirits ama wewe ni mudhaivu kirohoni itakuwe ni vigumu sana wewe kuwana mambe ya rohoni are we together kama uko weak in the spirits nitakuwe ni vigumu sana wewe kuwana mambe ya rohoni if you are weak Na setani watu wale anatumianga sana anatumia watu wale wako weak in the spirit. Katika mambe ya kukonect na muu. Sasa ni vipi mtu ya naeza kufanya ili aweza kulinda spirit yake. Ikuwe strong. Na nina maaniza kukua strong katika mambe ya mungu. Ni vipi mtu anaweza kufanya. Mbwa nasifuwe sana. Number one. By the grace of God. Nataka kuambia kwamba kuna spirit inaingianga mtu kubitia fresh. Na spirit inaeza kuingia spirit nzuri na spirit mbaya kubitia fresh. Amen. 
Sasa ile wiki tulikuwa tunasoma mambe utakatifu na nafikiria hii wiki nimetanja. Tuliona Biblia ikituonyesha ati mtu yule ambaye anaenda mnaingia unafanya usharati na a prostitute. Mnafanyika kitu kimoja. Mnafanyika anje. Biblia inasema ni kupitia mwili. Tu shall become one. Hallelujah. So number one, how to build your flesh, your spirits. Number one, you have to take care of what touches your flesh, stroke your body. Razima uangalie ni nini kinaguzanga mwili wako ama your flesh. Kuna kitu ambacho mtumishi wa Mungu Timotheo alikuwa anaambiwa na baba yake wa kiroho Paulo. Take me the book of verse Timothy chapter number 4. Verse 4. First Timothy chapter number 4 verse number 14 is it 14 or 4 take me there first 14 14 verse number 14 anamwambia hivi do not neglect your gift which was given you through a prophetic message when the bond of elders reigned their hands on you nipatie verse number 4 nipatie new king james tuone vile inasema do not neglect the gift which that is in you. Arambua iyo gifti kondani yako. Which was given to you by prophecy with the ring of the hands of the eldership. Sasa mutumishu wa mungu pauro anambia Timotheo kuna karama ikondani yako. Rakini iyo karama hili ingie kwako kitu cha kwanza ulitabiriwa. Na hili ingie kapisa uliwekerewa mikono. Ulipo wekerewa mikono iyo spirit ka ingie dani yako. Jana tuliangalia tukaona mafuta ilimwagwa kwa Daudi. Vile iliguza tu ngozi yake hivi, Roho wa Mungu akaingia. The same case ilifanyika hata kwa mtumishi wa Mungu Sauli. Mafuta ilipochukuliwa ya anointing ikawekerewa kwa ngozi yake hivi, ikaguza ngozi yake. Biblia inasemanga kwamba alipandilika akafanyika mwanadamu mwingine. Ambaye sio wa kawaida. Sasa you have to be very careful. In fact Roho wa Mungu alikuwa ananisaidia maneno hii mnaona mpaka ya Sarun. Saron ambako tunaenda. Ladies, tata here, don't allow everybody to touch your hand. Kuna mtu watakushuka Saron na ukute anakuweka, anakuweka spirit zingine. Ata wandugu wale tulio hapa. Kwanza siku hizi naona ni wakati ule wavinyuzi ambavyo vikona mbaka masanj. It is, you, you have to be very careful. Kuna mtu wataguza hiyo kichwa chako na kama hiyo mtu wametumwa with another anjeda. As you leave that kinyozi, as you leave that, uh, uh, that salon, ukute umebandirika. I also told people here in the church, and please people, munisikiriza vizuri. Sikuizi munye tuka tuka tika tika nyakati za mwisho. Nyakati za mwisho ambapo Yesu alisema, kutatokea mbaka manambi wa uongo, walimu wa neno wa uongo. Na munjue wengine siyati watakuwa metoka kwa mungu, wengine watakuwa metoka mahali kuingine. Na mimi ni kawambia, Sio kila mahali ukienda kwa sababu unasikia watu wana njito wa tumizu wa mungu Unakiimbiria kuyekerewa mikono Kuna mahali utawekerewa mikono kutokea matatizo Sasa mimi siku monja ni meenda mahali likuwe ni mkutano Inaubiriwa Nekasikia ma pasta rafikizangu ya kiniambia tuende Mahali pale kuna nini na nini Sasa wakati tuko pale The following day nikasikia mungu wa menueka musigo mkubwa sana wakuomba Na nilakumbuka vizuri sana nilienda kwa mahombi kwa mlima and instantly I saw in a vision nyoka kubwa sana imekimbia hata nilikuwa naona kama niveza kukumbe ilikuwa ni spiritual finally ndiyo mungu alikuwa na nifunulia mahali tulikuwa mambe ya nayo chukua na vazi siyo mambo genuine so you have to be very careful siyo kila mtu akuyekerea mukono mukono unaeza kuingiza spirit spirit mzuri spirit baya hata hii mambo munaona tukona yombaka ya hagi not everybody that it deserves your ag. Na mimi ni nawambia hivu. Ag is itakuyeka spirit is ingine. Ndiyo hapo ni kawangia mbaka maneno ya usharati. Usiende ukilara na kila mtu. Tabadhari wanayudhi wale muriyo hapa. Kuna mtu utalara na yeye. Na maisha yako ipandirikie pale. Votu shall become one. When their flesh come together. Bibiri nasema watavanyika mwiri. Mumonja. Na niliwambia kuna vili unaona watu wa mewana. Wanaanza kukaa mahali. Wanaanza kuona mbaka wanaanza kufanana. Because it is something that is taking place in the spirit. Sasa wapendo. Kuna watu. Jana this week nilikuwa na wambia. Kira kitu ambacho unaona kinatendeka around you. Inakuwa nga ni statement ya kutuambia. What is in your spirit? 
Do you know that I remember one day nilikuwa na saidia kijana hapa katika hii kanisa. Alikuwa ananiambia anjui ati anaona ndani yake kuko na influence fulani hawezi yerewa. Influence ya renders. Ananiambia pastor nitakwambia ukweli. Mimi nimefanya dhambi mpaka na wanawake wawe nyawe wanawake wameolewa. Haya cha cha cha. Nikaona hii ni pepo hatari. Ati every rende anaongea na yeye hakuna ugumu huko. Ananiambia tani kazi alikuwa anafanya ya boda boda. Mtuombea na pepo hapa usindikizo upelekwe kwako. Hata dhambi zingine zinavanyiwa hapa kwa ngeti ya kwako. Na ni kijana mdogo. A young boy. Sasa yeye anafikiria ni kawaida but it is a demon that was in him. Hiyo demon inasema kile kitafanyika nje. Every rende anaongea na yeye anasikia magnetism. In fact, that when get it is not that they are very beautiful, they are very handsome. No. The spirit that is in him in determine kile kitafanyika nje. So whatever you see happening in you if it is not good nikukwambia lazima uingie utrace hii kitu ili ingiria wapi na lazima uingie uangalie ni wapi mitambo iko na shinda in the spirit Nina saidia already and this lady came to converse to me akaniambia kuna mtu ambaye walienda kufanya dhambi na yeye huyo mtu ati kuna vitu alikuwa na msomo na kutoka pale kukawa ni kama kuna baraka zake zimefungwa Unjua hata nyota ya mtu inaweza kuchukuliwa katika hiyo mesa. Ndio niliwaambia kwamba hii ndio ilikuwa lengo ya shetani wakati mlikuwa mnaona mke wa Potifa alikuwa anataka kunyang'anya Joseph. Joseph angeingia katika hiyo dhambi, uvarume wake ungekatiswa. When the devil wanted to cut short the kingdom of Solomon, kuli introduceiwa watu ambao awapundu huyu Mungu tunaapundu, watu ambao wanaapundu miungu ile ingine, watu ambao wanaapundu bahari, hao ndio wali introduceiwa wakakuja wakafanya dhambi na Solomon na uvarumu wa Solomon ukaisha. In fact Solomon alikuwa ameanzia na Mungu vizuri lakini alimalizia vibaya kabisa. So you have to be very careful ni nani anaguza mwili wako. Who touches your body? I saw a man of God one day akitwambia ako na mtu specific na mwenye wanga. Awezi kwenda kuatendiwa na mtu mwingine. Now as you grow up you come you, you, you start understanding some of the things. Wakati una command unakujanga ukielewa mambo mengi. Amen. Tunasaindika kweli. Taking care of your spirits, building your spirits. Rasima uambie nayo fresh kuna mahali ya utaingia. Lazima uambie mwili wako kuna watu hawata kuuza. Siku moja nimeenda hapa town mahali pengine. Alafu kuna maskari wanakaa kwa bank. Alafu nikaona mahali palikuwa na Nissan pale imesungukwa na watu wengi. Nilisikia watu walikuwa naiba watu pesa. So nikaona askari na amepepa punduki. Sijui ni nini alikuwa ameenda kuambia wasifanye. Wakati aliona wanakunja kwake akakimbia. Nikasikia akisema hawa watu wataniruhusia hiyo masbere tu yako nayo. Kumbe watu hawa wengine what they do? Na wanaipia watu mpaka pesa kwa simu ni wanakunja wanakusalimia. Wakisaguza spirit fresh yako unachanganyikiwa. Huyu askari alielewa hizi sio vita za kupigana na mwili hizi. Sio za kupigana na punduki. The spirit you know he was running away. I saw a sister alikuwa ananiambia alisalimiwa na watu kama hao hata hakunjua akienda kubatolea pesa kwa bank na kila kitu anjui alifanya namna gani mnajua kwa nini Yesu aliambia wanafunzi wake wakati ni mwatuma katika mission muziende mukisalimia kila mtu kwa barabara do you know why go and do your research i also taught you wakati unanunua nguo zako jivudishange hizo nguo kusi consecrate unasema in the name of jesus especially nguo za second hand nguo za mtumba unjui ni akina nani waliovaa hizi nguo kuna nguo unaweza kuvaa na hizo nguo sikupandilishe ukuta umefanyika another person and this is what happened i kuna ombi ambalo elisha aliombewa na elinja elisha kile alifanya alitoa koti kama hii akaiacha nyuma and when mtumishi wa mungu elisha alichukua hiyo nguo ilikuwa inatumiwa na elinja akaishika a spirit entered him akaanza kuperform miujiza kama baba yake elinja in fact tunaona mpaka aligongeza kwa manji hivi ukabatikana barabara vile aliguza tu hiyo nguo anointing iliingia ndani yake ikiwa double mtumishi wa Mungu apostles katika biblia ukiangalia kuna wakati walikuwa wanaitisha nguo za watu aprom na vitamba wanasiombea mgonjwa akiperekewa anapona hii ni kukuonyesha kwamba nguo iko na uwezo wa kupepa a spirit sasa nguo zako ukinunua do you dedicate them 
na mjue kuna nguo zingine zinatengenezwa upande ule mwingine alafu zinaletwa kwa market sasa wewe unaanza kufa watu wanaona vile umenunua nguo mpya ndivyo mmeanza kukosana na mume wako ama mke wako that's why you are, you are supposed to include God in everything in including nguo amen kuna siku nimewaambia mambo ya kule India vile wangu wanafanya wandanda wangu wanaachilia nywele zinakuwa mrefu kabisa zile original Arabu kuna siku ya kutoa adhabu. Na tukisema maneno ya baadhi ya vitu zile wandanda wanavalio sana monja ni nywele zao. Hiyo mnaonanga baka kukinyesha afadhali aweke karatasi. So hii wanaendaka kutoa ikiwa adhabu. Mtu ananyolewa vizuri, arabu zinachukuliwa, zinafanywa kila process na zinaenda kule zinatolewa ipanda. Sikitolewa ipanda wanakunja sasa kuuza. Hizo pesa wanachukua wanaenda kujenga tembo kule alafu mtaada mwingine anaenda saruni unazoelewa nywele au njui litoka wapi au njui ifanywe ipanda gani inahitajika ukishika hiyo unasema i consecrate these hairs in the name of jesus jina ya yesu linatumiwa ku consecrate amen mtumishi wa mungu kuna kapo wamekuja kwake wamekosana vile wamekuja mungu akamsaidia hiyo issue alienda akaambia mama hiyo nywele ulikuwa saruni lini njana akamwambia nenda upomolewa hiyo nywele. Arabu Murundi. Vile imepomolewa wa Merundi wamesiki sana. Maana shida ni kile ambacho kirigusa mwili wake. Kilikuwa kimepepa spirit. So what I am saying number one, they don't allow everybody to touch you as you are, you are fresh. Angalia ni nani anakushuka. Angalia ni nani anakunyoa. Angalia ni nani hiyo ambaye unaruhusu kwa mwili wako. Some people's destiny siliipwa singine katika meza za usharati. So wakati mnasikia tukisema mtu don't go sleeping around it is more than what you think because fresh ni entry point moja ya spirit kuingia ndani yako nyama ni entry point moja ya ngundi spirit or ambandi spirit iingia kwako amen wakati mtu amekuja hapa akiwa mgonjwa pasta anamwekelea mkono alafu anapona kuna mali mnaonanga tunamchinja hakuna Niko na spirit ya Mungu ninamwekelea mkono alafu roho wa Mungu anapenya ndani ya fresh anaingia na anaponya Amen Number two. It is what you allow in your mind This one I'll talk nitaongea hii ndi pray kitu cha pili kama unataka kutengeneza if you want to protect your spirit or to build your spirit the second part you have to put take care of it is your mind Romans chapter number 8 verse number 5 those who live according to the sin of nature have their mindset on what the nature desires ninataka muangalie hivyo babu inasema those who live according to the sin of nature the problem is their mind Nothing else, not nothing else. They have their mindset on what the nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mindset on what the spirit desires. So mind is that powerful. Atukiona mtu anazimama na utakatifu, mawazo yake inafikirianga mambo ya Mungu sana. Watu wale ambao wanaishi kulingana na mwili wanaweka mawazo yao katika what nature desires, katika mambo ya kawaida. Amen. Sasa kuna kitu ningetaka niwaambie hivi. Sijui kama unajua mawazo yako iko na uwezo wa kuleta mikosi katika maisha yako. Not prayer. Sio maneno, just your mind. Mind tu. Eh, uh, hujawahi ona mtu amesema Aya, tumekutana. Nilikuwa nimekufikiria tena meneza ngo. And then ndiye huyu umekutana. 10 minutes ngo. Mtumishi wa Mungu ayupo kuna mahali ameandika akasema ati mambo ile alikuwa anaovia sana katika maisha yake ndio ilimkunjia. Woga inakuanga imeshikana na mawazo. Woga inashikana na mawazo. Ni mawazo inakuonyeshanga mambo negative alafu unaanza kuogopa. Ati hata mtu unaona ananisikiliza kama hapa. Alafu akiwa amekaa hivi mawazo yake inaona mama yake akikufa. Mawazo yake Siku moja nime katika ministry nimeombea mtu alikuwa anahitaji baraka ya mtoto. Alafu alikuwa ameingojea sana akashika mimba. Alafu ile mimba ikatoka. 
So arafu tulikuwa wakati tulikuwa tunaongea akaniambia shinda yangu ilikuwa hii moja ambayo nataka kukonfess. Mawaso yangu ilikuwa inauliza na hii na hii miscarriage ikifanyika. Arafu akaniambia pia my husband alikuwa na hiyo shinda. Alikuwa anauliza na vile miaka hii yote tumekaa tukiongochea na ikiwa hiyo mtoto si wangu hiyo mind yote shetani alichukua hiyo thinking akaweka spirit hiyo kufikiria alichukua akaweka a spirit ya kuleta mambo mabaya now listen to me your mind is very powerful na ndio mnaona biblia haija turuhusu tukafikiria mambo negative inataka tufikirie mambo positive ukikaa kila wakati unafikiria ukifutwa kazi na vile ukifutwa kazi utateseka hiyo ni mrango unafungua hiyo bai poa peri tuonyesha ati ile mawazo mtu anafikiria inaweza kuvungua mrango wa ndoto na niliwaambia pia ka, ka, kama sasa vitu zingine tunafikirianga mchana uongeange na mtu unakaa hivi unafikiria usharati unafikiria usharati unafikiria kunaanza kuingia vitu tu unafikiria tu ukifanya dhambi na mtu fulani usiku spiritual husband inakutembelea spiritual wife inakutembelea na hakuna mtu uliambia kile unafikiria lakini shetani aliona kile unafikiria usiku ndio yeye anakutembelea kwa ndoto ni watu wangapi hapo usawai fikiria kitu sana hata kama sa, hata sahi kuna uwezo wa ufikirie sana ufikirie sana ukinunua gari kuna uwezekano wa hiyo gari uione usiku katika ndoto so mawazo ni entry point ya spirits ngundi spirit or ambandi spirits the other thing mtu anayesekana kuwa hana nguvu mtu anayesekana kuwa ni munyonge lakini mawaso yake ianze kumuonyesha ako na nguvu mawaso yake ianze kumuonyesha akipona mawaso yake ianze kumuonyesha mambo makubwa eh spirit yake itapata nguvu na atahamuka watu wangapi mnasikia kama mnasindika nini ni watu wachache ama ni watu wengi leo hii ukisikiliza hii message because nimekwambia you are strongest part in your life it is a spiritual part kuna watu utatoka hapa ukiwa mshindi haleluya lazima ufikutu mawazo yako those who live according to the sin of nature the problem is not anywhere else they have their mindset on what nature desires kwa hivyo kama huyo mtu atakana utakatifu lazima mawazo yake ipandilike hata ukiwa ukitaka kuwa mshindi katika hii maisha hapo stack ni toke haraka inatakika nanga hivi are you listening to me maana kuna vita shetani anapiga nanga na mawazo ukiona kuna kitu inakuonyesha death si ndoto mind unaikemea unasema i cancel every mind that is demonic amujaona kuna mahali mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo alikuwa anasema tunasimama kinyume na kila mawazo imenjinua <coughs> kinyume na mambo ya Kristo amen So kitu yoyote inakuonyesha utafiri you have to arrest it. Na saa hiyo ulikuwa unaona hiyo negativity unaanza kufikiria positive. You will hear up your spirit. Otherwise ukia, ukiendelea kuruhusu hiyo mawaindi negative mawazo hiyo negative. Hata mambo ya kujitoa uhai bwana asifiwe. Mambo ya kukomit suicide mtu anakaanga hivi. Na kuna tokea idea. Ya vile unaweza nunua kamba. Tuko na relative mmoja ilikuwa anaambiwa alikuwa ametaka kujitoa uhai. Arafu ile idea ilikunja ni akokunywa garatrat. Na alita mtu mmoja akamwambia kunja. Na usiambie ni bode. Sikai pesa wendi uninunulie ndawa ya panya. Arafu nilete. Na yeye huyu mwenye kutumwa ni mtu mzuri. Alisema mtu fulani anataka kunjiua. Sasa ndawa hii kuletwa na hakunjiua. Sasa ili mtu afike mahali ya fikiri hizo mbinu zote. Unafikiria ni hivi hapana? Ni mawazo inakunja, inachukuliwa inaenda mahali fulani. Na mawazo hii inafungua mrango, inaleta spirit ya kifo. You have to take care of your mind. Kama utashinda ma spirit mengine. Am I helping somebody tonight? It is that powerful. Inaweza fungua spirit. Spirit nzuri, spirit mbaya. Mind yako na mimi hapa kuna watu ninaona unakaanga tu hivi chini. Kitu inakuonyesha wewe utaishi ukiwa single mama. Hata kuna mtu anakaa hivi na ameolewa. Na kona asbandi yake akona meno yote. 
kitu inamuonyesha vile mno wake anaweza kuva now one day ni mimi nina ninataka kuambia mambo ya ile ambayo ni zao interact nayo katika ministry siku moja tumeenda mahali ku falinji mama ambaye alikuwa amevua na mume wake hata nafikiria mazishi haiku imefanyika na sasa walikuwa na shinda ya mahali ambapo watapumzisha the husband sasa husband alipumzishwa hapa mbele ya nyumba in stand ya nakula kwa shamba alafu akaniambia basta unjue ni kweli nimekaa hivi nilikuwa najiuliza na mtu akikufa anaweza siku wapi na ambii mtu yote lakini kuna kitu inamwambia na mtu akikufa hivi ni wapi kaburi inaweza weko angeweza angepigana na hiyo mamazo kitambo kitambo na mimi hapa kuna watu ninajua hapa tetani amekuwa napeleka mawazo yako ili asingine hiyo mawazo inafungua mrango ambapo unaona mtu ameingia kwa, kwa matatu hivi ni kesi gari yanguke mtu anaweza tokea wapi hiyo ni demonic mind inawezekana sasa hii imeingia unasema i cancel you evil mind in jesus name kwa nini usione hii gari ikifika positively? Kwa nini usione hii gari ikifika na muvike vizuri? It is a spirit. Sasa ukienda hivi utafungua mrango na hiyo maneno itaingia. Na hivyo tunanyamaza ni kusema tumekuwa tunatembelewa na handu na hiyo barabara. Mind. Watu niliwambia watu kama wale hawapendi kanisa kama hii. Wanaanza kufikiria mambo negative, alafu usiku unaanza kuota ndoto mbaya za kanisa hii na niliwambia ndoto ni kitu kimoja kinaweza kukuambia unafikiri yanga nini sana sana sasa leo hii anza kufikiri yanga positive one hadi mama unaka hivi unaona unajuliza sasa nikikuva watoto wangu si watateseka wanaweza teseka sana alafu na imagine umekuva alafu naanza kuangalia eh sister ya mume wako vile anaweza kuwa anateza watoto Hawaja ni kuzaidia mapema mapema hiyo ni spirit ya kifu inakutembelea. Unafaa uinjak dakika hiyo na njia moja ya kuattack ni useme I attack you you spirit of evil mind. Number two, I cancel every evil mind. Number three, uanze kufikiria positively. Bila ulikuwa naona ukikuva, uanze kuona ukiishi miaka mingi. Hiyo spirit umeifungia mrango. Am I helping somebody? So those who live according to the seed of nature have their mind set on what that nature desires that nature but those who live in accordance with the spirit have set their mind set on what the spirit desires imagine wameweka tu mind yao na huko arabu wakanjikuta wao ni wenye dhambi na kuna wengine wameweka mawazo yao tu katika mambo ya Mungu wakanjikuta wanasimama na utakatifu number three, because i don't know whether time will allow me na katika hiyo mambo ya mind ungeandika na sijui kama msawai sikia kitu kingine inaitwa yoga. Msawai sikia hiyo kitu inaitwa yoga. Hiyo kitu si ya watu wameokoka. Hiyo yoga ina vanyangwa sana sana na wahindi. Na inakuanga ni mambo mnafupumzika mahali hivi. Alafu mnafundishwa vile mtaanza ku meditate. Na hiyo meditation kuna vile inakujanga. Inavanya mpaka watu waanze kuona vitu ambazo sio za kawaida because inavunguanga kitu kinaitwa that i i think i'll come to speak about that another day number three. kama unataka kusaidia spirit yako na kuimbuund spiritually kizo cha tatu unavaa kuangalia sana it is protect your eyes protect your eyes linda macho yako protect your eyes from evil macho yako na naongea maneno ya macho hii ya mwili eh sio macho ya kiro wazazi ningetaka munisikilize wale mko hapa maana siku hizi tuko katika wakati wa digital na ninge discourage sana sana wazazi maneno ya kuyakea watoto cartoon cartoon hizo mnaona wewe mzazi unatakikana ukue hapa uangalie kuna katuni mtoto abai aone huyo ndugu saa hii ni pasta nilikuwa namuangalia kwa hope tv kitambo kidogo kwa kitoa testimony vile alikuwa amerikuturutiwa kwa mambo ya devil worshiping alafu kuna pesa walikuwa nabatiwa 
wakipatiwa hizo pesa walikuwa wanaenda wanatengeneza video za cartoon wakitengeneza hizo video za cartoon alafu zinawekwa kwa TV watoto wale wanaanza kuangalia hizo program automatically wanakuwa recruited so utaona mtoto ameanza kupandilika mtoto ameanza kuwa na mazira hata kuna wazazi wengine unaambiwa ile maneno mtoto wako alivanya shule uamini hata mtoto mwenyewe aamini ile mambo anafanya yeye mwenyewe sijui ni wangapi muliangalia tv i think it was last week on sunday lakini sio siku mingi zimepita mtoto wa miaka 15 just 15 years ameua watoto watatu kwa familia yao Soso yake alikuwa anaongea anasema watu wengine walikuwa namuita mchai wanasema mtoto huyu alisema ati alikaa mahali akasikia kongiote maana sasa mtu yule anasingisiwa siye mwenye kufanya hiki kitendo three children they are on the grave mtoto wa 15 years it is not normal and we have to raise up the church of god katuni zingine ukiziangalia unaweza ziangalia uone kusema ukweli ni demonic because zingine unaona huyu alikuwa ni mnyama amepandilika amefanyika mwanadamu the way they are changing you can see them vile unaona zinatoa picha zingine you will be able ukiwa na roho ya Mungu na Ezra hizi katuni zingine demonic how comes ni wapi uzawa hiyo na mtu anachange mara moja anafanyika mnyama mara yule mnyama alikuwa ni simba amepandilika amekuwa ni ndege ameanza kufurai i think muzawa hizi angalie wapi how they change and then you taona mtoto usiku akiwa merara mtoto anaanza kulia ama unaanza kusikia mtoto anaitana usiku na ni vitu alizoona katika katika tv zinamtokea usiku ishindwe katika jina la Yesu na sisi lazima tukue very careful ni nini unaangalia na last time ndio niliwaambia wrestling si ya watu wameokoka utaendelea kuiona kuingia roho ya vita kwako i'm sorry to say pornography because wana yudhi wengi hapo ndipo wamekaliwa na hiyo mapepo pornographic things they will start dividing you na utanjikuta wewe ulikuwa mwana yudhi amesimama vizuri ndani yako kuingia a spirit of prostitution raw ya prostitution ikuingia unajaribu kuiacha inakataa na ni wewe uliifungulia mrango kupitia macho prostitution spirits mengi tu kupitia macho yako eyes are very powerful Yesu mwenyewe alisema njicho la mtu likiwa ni safi mwili wake wote ni msafi na njicho la mtu likiwa liko na giza mwili wake wote utakuwa na giza Yesu mwenyewe ndiye aliyesema hivyo njicho la mtu likiwa safi mwili wake wote ni safi na njicho lako likiwa liko na giza your whole body is dark that is how powerful you eyes are mimi nikiwa pastor hivi na hata mimi niko na mpaka simu hapa. Siku hizi unaweza kuona mpaka umefungulia Bible kwa simu, alafu kunaanza kuletwa picha zingine. Devil is very cunning. Is it is of it wanatumia mpaka hapa katika simu. Unaona umefungua Bible kusoma na bado siko on. Unaanza kuletwa vitu vizivai hapo. Hata watu wanaweza hata kukiwa na mtu ambaye anasoma ako hapo karibu na wewe naone kuna vitu ulikuwa unasoma hapo anaweza vigilia unaangalianga vitu kama hizo. Na sioote ni strategy ya shetani anaeroa vitu zinaweza kukuingia kupitia macho. Mnaona ni vizuri tuendelee kweli. Can we read the scripture? Let us be taken in the book of Acts chapter number 9 verse 1. Mimi naona afadhali hata kama tutasoma zote sasa tunaweza vika pale. Meanwhile Saul was still breathing was still breathing out man rust right against the lord disciples he went to the high priest and asked for him letters to the synagogue in Damascus so that if he found any any there who belonged to let me have my backup here kwa sababu sitaki tusome kila kitu lakini ebu tuki tukiweza kana tupatie mstari wa watatu was three inasema as he near the damascus on his journey suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him verse number four he fell to the ground and under voice said to him soul soul why do you persecute me amen munaona vile ambavyo biblia inasema 
Ebu tuende baka mustari wa ngapi? Mustari wa sita. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Verse 7. The men traveling with Saul stunned their speechless. They earned the sound, but they did not see anyone. Ati kwa walikuwa nasikia sauti lakini ya waku wana mtu. Lakini mungjue sauli mwenyewe kuna vitu walikuwa naona. Angalia mustari next wa nane. Wena vitu unasema. Saul got up from the, bride, uh, from the ground. But when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they ran him by the hand into Damascus. So hii maneno munaona ya nguvu za mungu sauli ya lipokea. Alipokea kupitia macho. Aliona Yesu. Lakini ya kumuona bizuri. Alikongwa na muangasa mkubwa. Uwa muangasa ulikunja mpaka vile ulimugonga. Na ni muangasa wa nguvu za mungu. Akavanyika kipofu. Na vile ndipo tunaona aliperekwa kwa mtumishi mwanja wa mungu. Haka muambea. Macho ikapona. Na kutoka pale tunaona safari ya sauli. Ikiwi mepandirika. Praise be to God. John chapter 8 verse number 32. John chapter 8 verse number 32. Na hii tusawa isawa mahabasi kumoja. John chapter 8 verse number 32. Is it, the, is it this one? Oh, first John. First John. Upande ule mwingine wa letters. Not the gospel. First John chapter 8 verse number 32. Verse John chapter 8 verse number 32. Gai muradhi mi. Wiravi magira ulio kuenda. Nagoti ni unge kuli ya kiuli. Watu akuradhi ma. Ocha niyona kama ni tasa indika upande umu ingine. Mumesa indika kweli. Watu wa mitambo na njini siju kama pando ama na mnagani. Ocha niweza kuangaliwa mustari. Nione yangu kama itaweza kuturuhusu. Nasikia vile manazi ya nagonga na ngufu pari. Nikusema amekua makidogo. Hallelujah. Are we here for tonight? Nata sijui kidogo watu nione. Naona kama kuna. Kuyanga, wana nisaindi ya haraka. Mwana saingine sasa muna kuya matu na kuya mazote. Nikweli ya masikweli. Watawara, watawara, watawara. John chapter 3 verse 2. Waja tumaliza na hii. Beloved, now we are children of God and it has not yet been reviewed what we shall be but we know that when he is revealed we shall be like him. Why? For we shall see him as he is. Amen. Wapendwa sisi ni wana wa mungu na ata kama anjavunuliwa Ama aijavunuliwa vile tutakavi okua. Kuna njambo moja tunanjua. Wakati atavunuliwa, tutakua kama ye. Kwa sababu tutamuona vile alivyo. Na niliyarezi ya basi kumuaja. Ati wakati yesu ya takuja, ni kumuona tu tutamuona. Tukimuona hivi, 
tutafanyika kama yeye. Amen. Hii hiyo already ilifanyika Mungu alitumia kwa Jacob wakati alikuwa ananyanyashwa na Laban. Alimuelezea vile ambavyo atatengeneza kinjiti ikiwa na marangi mengi. Unakumbuka walikuwa wamekubaliana na ango yake yule mbuzi ambaye anazaliwa akiwa wa mwili mmoja huyo ni wa ango yake. Yule ambaye anazaliwa na viraka viraka huyo ni wa Jacob. Lakini because Laban was weakened na huyo mtu mnajua alikuwa mchawi. Amen. Hakuwa anapenda Mungu wa mbinguni. Usiku alichukua mbuzi wote wa kiume wale walikuwa na viraka viraka akawapeleka mbali. Na ukumbuke amenyanyasha Jacob for about 14 years na anataka atezekee kwake. Sasa vile ilifanyika ni Mungu alikuja akanena na Jacob akamuonyesha achukue kinjiti ambiko na viraka viraka aweke mahali ambapo mbuzi wanaenda kukunywa maji. Sasa wakija kukunywa maji pale and when the fertilization is taking place wakiangalia pale wanazaa mtoto ambaye anakaa kama zile viraka waliona. So kuna vitu vya spirit vinakujanga kupitia kile mtu anaangalia. Amen. Sitaki mkutano ukae kama ni mkutano wa kustua watu wa Mungu na ni mkutano wa kuwasaidia. Sema amen tafadhali. Hiyo topic si jamaliza but my time is up and some of us we are going far. Kidogo pianist weka hiyo volume chini. Nauliza hivi kwa jina la Yesu. Unaona kama Amen. Unaona kama shinda zako zilianzia wapi? Sababu kuna mtu uko hapa na umeona nyota yako iliendea wapi? Wengine ilienda ukiwa secondary. Ukiangalia vitu fulani. Funga macho yako tu. I don't want to talk much. Close your eyes and start interceding for yourself. And even repenting. 